When most people think of dangerous animals, the first things that come to mind are lions and tigers, hippos and saltwater crocodiles. While these animals are certainly dangerous, the chances of us coming into contact with one in a rural city are almost slim to none. So what really is the most dangerous animal in the world? There are the most aggressive, the most poisonous, and the deadliest animals running all over the planet, each with having their own dangerous reason of why you don't want to run into them face to face. If you happen to live on the continent of Africa, you probably need to watch out for another dangerous animal aside from hippos and crocodiles, the Setsi fly. It is often regarded as the world's most dangerous fly, which measures only 8 to 17 millimeters, which is about the same size as an average house fly. These flies are nasty, blood-sucking bugs that feed during the very warm hours of the day. But it's not the fact that they're little vampires that makes them dangerous. Their true terror lies in the single-celled parasites they spread, which are called trypanosomes. These microscopic pathogens cause what is called African sleeping sickness, which in turn causes neurological and melingoencephalitis symptoms and include poor coordination, behavioral changes, and disturbances in sleep cycles, which gives the disease its name. There are no vaccines or medications that can prevent infection. If it is left untreated, the disease can be fatal. There are over 10,000 fatalities per year from this tiny, pesky animal. Sometimes, you end up getting surprised when you find out something about a typically normal creature and learn that it's more dangerous than you possibly imagined. We're talking about freshwater snails. You heard that right. Those harmless-looking things, slowly crawling around in your garden, are actually dangerous. Parasitic flatworms cause a disease called cystomasiasis, which does really nasty things to the human body. The surprising thing is that you might think you would need to eat some snails raw to become infected. Not so. The parasite infects the snail where it breeds and reproduces, and then leaves the snail entering the water. The parasite can only live for 48 hours without a human host. But when a host is found, the worm enters the blood vessels and for several weeks will stay there while developing into an adult. Meanwhile, the symptoms for the host aren't nice. When the worms reach maturity, they lay more eggs and the process starts over. If the eggs do not leave the body, they can become ingrained in the body tissues and cause a variety of problems including intense abdominal pain, among a long list of other bad symptoms. You might think mm -hmm. that this would be a rare occurrence for someone to become infected by this parasite. However, millions of people contract this infection every year, and between 20,000 and 200,000 fatalities can be attributed to cystomasiasis. Every year, there are 35,000 human fatalities caused by this animal, which is also well known as man's best friend. You heard that right, dogs. You might not think they are man's best friend after hearing this. They are high on the list of the most dangerous animals on the planet. However, there have been many dog attacks on humans, and you've probably even heard stories of these animals turning on their owners. Lately, there have been more stories about dogs mauling their owners, dogs escaping their yards, and even stray dogs in neighborhoods attacking innocent people. This happens more often than you know, and it's usually the powerful dog breeds such as pit bulls, or most recently, a terrible fatal attack by a doggo argentino. And despite all this, the biggest reason that this animal is one of the most dangerous is that dogs can become easily infected by the rabies virus. Even though rabies can infect other animals, 99% of rabies bites and infection comes from dogs. The virus immediately attacks the brain and is fatal once symptoms appear. Most of the attacks occur in Asia and Africa among poor rural communities, and there is one fatal occurrence every 15 minutes. When it comes to snakes, there is no question that the black mamba is probably the most dangerous snake on the planet. And while you might think that the reason it's so dangerous is that of its poison, while it's true that the venom of this snake is extremely poisonous, it's not the main reason that this snake is so dangerous. It's the fact that this snake can move fast. Thankfully, this snake isn't all over the place and can only be found in the savannas and rocky areas in southern and eastern Africa. But if you go on a safari, better keep your eyes open. This snake is aggressive and can grow up to 14 feet long. It is the fastest of all snakes and can literally chase you down, slithering at speeds up to 12 and a half miles per hour. If one of these snakes decides to chase you for whatever reason, such as guarding its nest or territory, the odds of the snake catching you is good because escaping one in a remote area is difficult. 
If there is any good thing about them, is that they will only chase you down if you threaten them. But if you do manage to make one angry, and it attacks, and bites you, the snake has a tendency to bite not just once, but repeatedly. And while doing this will deliver enough venom to fatally poison 10 full-grown people. If you do not receive an anti-venom within 20 minutes of being bitten by a black mamba, it's adios muchachos, as the bite is 100% fatal. The interesting thing about the black mamba is the snake isn't black at all. It gets its name because the inside of its mouth is completely black. But the black mamba isn't the only snake that is dangerous, of course. Even as it tops the list of the most dangerous snakes, venomous snakes account for over 100,000 fatalities each year. This puts them close to the top for being the most dangerous. Some will comment, humans are the most dangerous animals, and you might be right. The total fatalities from wars alone are estimated to be between 150 million and 1 billion, give or take a few hundred million for early wars that weren't recorded. Humans pose a threat to every living animal on the planet because we have arguably accelerated global warming with the destruction of coral reefs, and many large forests in the world have been decimated. Most animals are forced from their forest homes as we cut down trees or marine animals perish from all the plastic that we put into the oceans and seas. Not to mention, we have the ability to completely annihilate the entire planet with the most horrifying weapons of all time, including thermonuclear devices and genetically modified superbugs. There is no question that we are one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. And despite this, you might be in for a surprise. The most dangerous animal in the world is the mosquito. You might be wondering how it is possible that a 3mm animal, the common mosquito, which is even tinier than a setsi fly, could rank as the most dangerous animal on the planet. But the facts are in, and there are reported 725,000 human fatalities each year. These pesky bugs are responsible for the most animal-related fatalities. There are over 3,500 known species of mosquito in the world, and they carry a large variety of diseases like malaria, encephalitis, elephantiasis, yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus, and a newly discovered Zika virus. The mosquito-borne disease which affects unborn children. Mosquitoes can easily spread disease from one person to another person, and malaria by itself is responsible for more than half of all mosquito-related fatalities, which was predominant in sub-Saharan Africa. And although it's on the decline, dengue fever is the leading cause of hospitalization among children in some Asian and Latin American countries. In Canada, they have another unique problem with mosquitoes. Animals are sometimes attacked in deep forests by swarms of mosquitoes, and the animal ends up running from the blood-sucking creatures and onto busy highways and roads. Dangerous animal vehicle collisions happen when an animal tries to escape being bitten heavily in wooded areas next to the highway. The common house mosquito that you encounter in the USA, Europe, and Asia can carry Japanese encephalitis, meningitis, and West Nile virus. There is a subspecies of this mosquito called the London Underground Mosquito that has adapted to living underground in subway systems and prefers to feed on rats, mice, and of course, humans. The yellow fever mosquito is one of the most widespread species and its distribution is growing. Other species, like the Asian tiger mosquito, which carries yellow fever, dengue fever, chikungunya fever, philocoriasis, is considered to be in the top most invasive species in the world and in the next 20 years could triple in distribution and flood urban areas where humans are plentiful and easy to bite. An interesting thing to note is that only the female mosquitoes bite, and of these, only half carry the parasites known to cause fatal diseases. So if you get bitten by a mosquito, your chances of becoming ill from one of these diseases are rare. However, the World Health Organization has said that more than half of the entire human population is currently at risk from mosquito-borne disease. The big question being asked now is should we use some eradication techniques to completely wipe them out, or should we let nature deal with things as intended? I give you my heart.